today's video is going to be about focus stacking in Photoshop Elements. Now I happen to use Elements 13. Uh, before we get into that, I took three photographs that you know from on a tripod, and the only thing different about these three images is my focus point. So the first one is nearly infinity, which would be kind of back here. Second one, I kind of focused in the middle. Didn't have to adjust it that much. And then this one would be in the bottom third, probably, where I get the most focus. But if I look into my properties here, I'm at f-stop 11, which gives a lot of depth of field anyway, so there should be a lot of overlap here. And I'm in manual exposure. That's just so the camera doesn't automatically change my settings as I go from image to image. I don't want a different exposure. Now, even though I click on these, it does change a little bit. And I guess that has to do with the mathematics of either the camera itself or just this image viewer. I don't know which, but what we're going to do is we're going to combine those three. Now, I opened up these three images and the elements already, so they're right here. And to use Elements Plus, uh, I need to go to my window. I'm going to go to Effects. And in this drop down list, uh, since I have it installed, you're going to see Elements Plus right there. And I'm going to look for Scripts, which is that one right there. So I'm going to double click on that. And in the drop down list, uh, we're going to go to Sharpen. Uh, there's quite a few others here to play with, but sharpens one I want. And you'll see focus stacking right there. So I'll highlight that. And then we're going to hit the run button. And then just wait and see what happens. And so it's running and it's... jumps around it's thinking it's working it's doing all kinds of strange things okay it says it's done so let's see well I only see one image now so the other two are gone it's combined all three and just from the looks of it it looks like it's all nicely in focus you know front to back so at that point that's all there is to it for focus stacking and elements. Now, if you want this program, let's go to the top here. This is the website for Elements Plus. Uh, it's giving you all the versions right here. Looks like the, they stay up to date. And then this list underneath is all the nice things that, <laughs> that you would find in Photoshop that you don't find in elements. So this is all the nice things that you could have. So I'm going to go way down to scripts, alphabetical order. And right there, I see focus stacking. I already opened that up. And so it tells you a little bit about the focus stacking and this add-on program. And here it has all the uh, versions that you could download for your version that you have. It only costs 12 bucks, so it's a pretty good deal. And I would recommend it for anybody that has Photoshop Elements that wants to be able to use more of the tools that Photoshop has. So I will stop right there. Well, I went digging, try to find some more images I could use for fo uh, focus stacking. 
Uh, I did find three. Uh, I don't do this very often, so I don't have that many to choose from. But here we go. Three different levels of focus. This is my camera on a tripod looking straight down on the rock. So I'll go ahead and fire this up and see what happens. Focus stacking. Now, I don't know what to expect, so this is the first time I'm trying this with these images. Well, it didn't take too long. Let's see what happened. Well, uh, doesn't look too bad. I know that was a difficult photo because there was a lot of difference in distance between my lens and that lichen on the rock. And so what was at the very bottom was out of focus in all the images. So I would probably have to just crop that out. But it does seem to work. So there you go. Focus stacking and Elements Plus.